おはよう、皆さん。キーシモです。ネックです。とっても大きいです。食べ物をたくさん食べます。Alright, today I want to talk a little bit about my goals for Japanese. Oh my god. 熱いですね。Okay, better. I have a Japanese trip coming up in September of this year, and my goal for that one is really to get to a tourist level where I can have a very、uh, brief conversation with a very patient person. I like to set my levels based on practical situations like that. I understand that Japanese is way harder than Spanish, so I'm definitely not expecting to get to fluency or、uh, any, even a Practical conversational level in, in six months. So, as of right now, I'm on month three, which means、uh, by the end of August, I'll be done with six months of,、uh, of Japanese study. So, unlike with Spanish, which is more of a marathon, Japanese for me is more of a language sprint.、Uh, I only really got serious with doing Japanese about three months ago.、Uh, now I'm really hammering down and trying to grab all of the resources that I can and putting them into the right pieces so that I can. Improve, improve in the most efficient manner without getting too overwhelmed because I definitely have been burnt out before. So, what one of the resources is the class that I am taking right now. So, for today, I'm just gonna go over the class and、uh, how I use the workbook,、uh, the textbook, right? Textbook. Gilkasho. So, I'm gonna tell you how I utilize、uh, the textbook. The, and this is mainly targeted towards self learners. I really enjoy the class. It has its own、uh, benefits I really like, especially with speaking practice. But I'm gonna talk mainly about self learning because that's like the brunt of what I'm doing right now.、Um, so, the book we are using is called Genki. I, I took away the outer cover because I don't like having outer covers on my books. It is one of the most well known Japanese textbooks out there. It's not very well made for self learning, and I've seen feedback from people that said that、uh, some of the language they use is、uh, maybe a little outdated.、Uh, but for what it's worth, I really like the style. I like that they do, you know, like a they do, they basically do、uh, dialogue on one side and an English translation on the other side, kind of Asimov style, if you are,、uh, if you know about that. And then they show you a lot of vocabulary that's related to the dialogue you just heard.、Um, Some of the vocabulary are used in the dialogue, and some of the vocabulary are related but not used in the dialogue. So you get a lot of vocabulary, like, I don't know, 60 to 80 or something per chapter.、Um, and, then, and then after that, they do grammar that、um, explains more about how the words were used in the dialogue. A lot of people don't like this order. I personally do like this order because. I like to hear something first,、um, and the book does come with a CD.、Um, I like to hear something first, and then, and then look at the vocabulary that was in it and kind of piece things together.、Uh, maybe go back and read the dialogue. And then, only after I, I give my brain some time to kind of like intuitively pattern recognize things, do I read the grammar? And I find that when I do it in that order, I remember the grammar a lot more than if I were to just read the grammar rules first and then go look at the vocabulary and dialogue and try to like fit it back into the boxes. I did that in the past before and it didn't work for me.、Um, as a matter of fact, it got me really anxious. My brain would just start freezing because I had to put every single word I read into their grammar components and Language is so fluid, and there's so many exceptions all the time. Sometimes you just got to take it for what it is, right?、Um, so, that, so that's that. And then after that, at the end, you get some、um, exercises that you can do. And some people love exercises. I am not exactly a person who likes doing ex written exercises in workbooks. I do like、um, speaking exercises. But that's for another video、uh, where I talk about audio learning. So I will show you, for me, for me, what I, how I like to use this textbook. 
So I'm going to start backwards. I'm going to talk about uh, how I do the exercise, how I study the exercise sections of the, of the book, how I uh, study the grammar sections, and then how I study the vocabulary and the dialogues. I don't really enjoy doing workbook exercises where you have to write stuff. I do think writing is very important, but more in the freestyle writing kind of way. For me, this is not critiquing anybody else's study style. If there's one thing I've learned from my trial and error in everything I've done in life is that everybody has their own way of doing things. Um, but this is what I do. Uh, so I don't do like these exercises right here where it's like you have to rewrite, uh, like rewrite a thing in different uh, conjugations over and over again. I might do one or two if I really, really need the practice, but I don't like, honestly, I don't do it very often. But what I do uh, like to do, um, and this workbook has, um, not all of the exercises have it, but like sometimes they have just like these long sentences right here. And I just like to read it and I do it in the extensive reading kind of kind of way not the intensive reading kind of way um that's what the grammar section is for extensive reading means i'm reading and trying to understand things as i'm reading it and i'll look words up but i don't actively try to remember it like i don't put it in my anki flashcard deck for instance is it anki or anki i don't know i pronounce it uh both ways <laughs> depending on what i feel like and there's like this whole section in the back um, and they have uh, that corresponds with with each chapter that you have learned before uh, that teaches you kanji. Now you may or may not care about kanji. Some people people have really strong opinions about whether or not you should know kanji. I am lucky in that I I used to go to Chinese school when I was little. Thanks mom and dad. Um, and while I've forgotten a lot of Chinese characters, I retain most of the basic ones. And, uh, and so this helps me, kanji comes, is a little bit easier for me, I, I think, than for people who probably have never, uh, you know, seen these symbols before. Um, but even if you're not, if you don't care about kanji, what I like is that in the kanji sections at the back, they usually come with these, like, long essays, um, that uses basic vocabulary that you learn from the, uh, relevant, ch uh, relevant chapter. I just read for fun, extensive reading. I just try to read the the essay or the story or whatever it is. And usually, you know, it ties in with the dialogues from the previous chapter. So it's, I find that it's like a comfortable but still challenging level to do. So I just like to do that. And if there is a kanji that I don't recognize, um, you know, I, I will just look it up and add furigana below it, kind of like, you know, what's going on. Can you see that? Eh, probably not, sorry. Um, you know, like that below, whatever I don't know. So yeah, the exercise portion of the book is mainly reading exercises for me. Okay, grammar time. Maybe unlike most people, I actually really love grammar. So I absolutely do like that Japanese grammar is really different than English, Chinese, and Spanish. And uh, complicated, I appreciate that. The danger, because this happened to me with uh, Spanish, is that when I focus too much on the grammar and I read extensively, it's all, every time I try to say something, I box myself in. I'm like, oh, what are the grammar rules? Whereas if I don't pay that much attention to grammar or at least like hold myself accountable to getting the grammar completely right, I can you know, spill out words a lot more fluidly based on just internally my, you know, my intuition based on having heard sentences over and over again. I think there's a trade-off uh, between too much grammar such that I can hold you back versus not enough grammar such that such that you can't say anything at all or without annoying the person you're talking to. I, I'm still trying to figure out that balance for myself. But anyway, favorite section, grammar. What I do with grammar is I read through it twice, once or twice, usually twice. But uh, so what I do is I read everything once and then I uh, go back and then I make notations uh, for just anything that, you know, if I ever come back to this five years from now, I'll be able to find the main points again. I don't find that I need to come back and read it again, um, you know, in any time in the near future. And the reason is because 
The grammar section comes with example sentences. Each time a new grammar point is introduced, they show you the example sentences that uh, demonstrate this. Now, these example sentences, this is what I put into uh, my flashcard uh, software that I use called Anki. Uh, it's a very, very popular flashcard software. And they use the space repetition system where you only see cards that you are just about to forget. Um, so Anki will show you cards and ask you, and if you can answer it really easily, you say it was easy. If you answered it, but it was really hard for you to recall, then you can say hard. And if you can't answer at all, you say no. And based on that, Anki knows when it should show you this card next. So easy cards, it might not show it to you for like another month, depending on how many times you said it was easy. Whereas for hard cards, they might show you it again tomorrow or, uh, you know, however long uh, the space repetition system decides. So basically, I find that as long as I study my Anki decks every Every single day, I'm, I'm staying on top of it. I, it's pretty much guaranteed that I'm going to memorize uh, all of these eventually. So I input only the example sentences into my deck. And the reason I do that instead of grammar rules is that I want to be able to speak and listen to Japanese as quickly as I can. And grammar rules aren't going to help me as much as being exposed to these sentences over and over again because when you talk to people you talk with sentences in that language right the other great thing is that i can simultaneously learn vocabulary with grammar at the same time as well one other thing that i find to be very important and if you've ever read fluent forever you uh, are aware of how this works is that for most of my sentences, I don't use direct English translation like they do here. Um, but instead of having a flashcard that has Japanese on one side and then English on the back, what I do is I look for um, images that that shows the meaning of the sentence uh, instead. Let's do a recent one that I did uh, before. Oh, the the checks means that I finished creating uh, Anki cards for these sentences. So this one says, mm, uh, And um, that means I'll do it, uh, like I volunteer to do something. And uh, the big grammar take home point is the mashoka part, uh, which is indication that I'm going to do something. So. I go online and I find an image that kind of represents that. So I use this tool called Japanese Multi-Search that I can link below. It's also made by uh, the Fluent Forever company. And um, as you can see, they come up with a lot of uh, a lot of images uh, from Google search that's from that country of origin so that, you know, it's, it's a very authentic uh, kind of picture. Um, yeah, and in this case, I see that, you know, this picture is something that I find is interesting, it's very memorable to me, and so I will use that as my my answer, my translation. And so this keeps me from translating English to Japanese uh, and back in my head, which is a major roadblock I, I stumbled upon in my Spanish, and that is why I'm you know trying so hard to break break that translation barrier uh, right now. And I don't want to get there with, uh, I don't want to be there with Japanese as well now that now that I know what I know. Now sometimes it gets really, some of the grammar points get pretty abstract and it can be really hard to find pictures for a concept. So this is the part where I diverge from Fluent Forever, sorry, system. Uh, so they very much are adamant that uh, you stick to pictures, but I guess I am impatient in this manner. So if there is a word that, if I can't find a suitable picture in, I don't know, let's say, let's say a minute. If I can't find a suitable picture in a minute, I mean, call me impatient, then I will just write the translation. But instead of writing in English, I'll write it in Spanish so that at least I can, I don't know, get some Spanish practice. And it makes me feel better about uh, using translations. Okay, vocabulary. There is a lot of vocabulary to go through. Now, I started by putting all of this vocabulary into flashcards and Anki as well, but that got so overwhelming. Like I couldn't, I couldn't get to all the grammar stuff I wanted to get to because there was just so much vocabulary that I had to get through as well. well I became kind of impatient. 
And I know that's not a good trait, but I think that in order to do anything, uh, succeed at anything, you have to tweak the system to be something that you en you you can enjoy at least a little bit. Otherwise, uh, otherwise you can't stick with it. As a weight loss coach, this is something that I am very, very familiar with. And on top of that, I am also learning vocabulary from uh, another Anki deck that uh, I found online called the Core 2000. And since those vocabulary words claim to be, uh, you know, more frequency based, I want to prioritize that over the Genki vocabulary. But that doesn't mean I don't want to study them, uh, partly because we still get tested on the vocabulary in my class. So how do I pass the vocabulary tests if I'm not, you, you know, actively studying them? I'll do another video on uh, audio programs and how, do you, how I learn with audio, but Genki comes with a CD. So which I don't know where it is because uh, my roommate ripped everything into mp3 format which is so much easier so I think I just threw away the CD. And the audio includes the audio for the dialogues and as well as audio for the vocabulary. And basically they just say the Japanese word and then repeated the English translation again and then they do this over and over again, right? But if you've ever heard of Glossica or Speechling, it's basically a, it's a system of learning a language by basically having you listen to sentences over and over and over again until you just internalize those sentences even if you don't know the grammar structure or whatever and a lot of people swear by it. I have my own opinions uh, which I might talk about at a later time but this is basically the same thing as that. What I do is I just listen to the mp3s. Uh, whenever I'm going shopping, when I'm doing chores, when I work out. And what's interesting is after a week of listening to uh, audio files of the vocabulary and dialogues, when I'm doing other things passively, I I'm still focusing on what they're saying. Uh, you know, don't do this if you're actually doing something that requires active thought process like coding. You know, you do it when you're driving or walking around, right? Um, yeah, I find that at the end of the week. If I, if I test myself on the vocabulary, I can actually recall quite a lot of it. So I found that that works for me. So I, I'm going to keep doing that, at least with, with the vocabulary from this book. And I'm primarily going to use um, this book for more of the grammar learnings. Now you might ask, well, if you're just listening to the vocabulary, how are you going to memorize the kanji? Uh, so we're not at the part where we have to write kanji yet, and so I that's just not something I'm worried about right now. And I'm fairly confident in my abilities to spell things out with hiragana and katakana, so writing is not a, pro is not a concern of mine. And then the dialogues. I treat the dialogues the same way as I treat the grammar section where I put it into Anki, but also I also listen to the dialogues along with the vocabulary. Hope this helps and this kind of strategy can, pro uh, can be applied to pretty much any textbook that you might have for any language that you're learning. この本、この本です。この本、この本は、この本は、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こ